the inspiration for me is New York City. I'm excited to make something for New York City that's permanent. I feel like it's nice to come back to the city after many years and do something that's new for Queens. My vision for this project are the rules of architecture. The rules of architecture dictate the kind of space. They dictate the size of the paintings. But what's in the paintings, I wanted there to be a reflection of both this kind of geometric architectural world and this idea of an expansive space. That their world isn't so congested, the tenants. That's why I like the, the title is Your, Your Place or Mine, suggesting that there's an open-ended invitation of space. The creative process always starts with the drawing and, and there's so much linear work. All that taping, all the lines, all the colors. So I think that I want there to be a feeling that I don't use a lot of paint, I use a lot of lines. Paint is used as a drawing, in a way. And so I think when I showed the drawings of Durst, I wanted to keep capturing that. There's a lightness to those paintings, even though the colors are pretty opaque and saturated. I feel like there's an airiness to it. When they come home or when they leave, they'll get used to these paintings and the color, I think the color represents a lot of kind of different structure than they're normally used to seeing in the skyline. Um, there's kind of a futuristic urban component to these paintings. Um, the plant-like forms